The largest automotive news publication that covers Europe has said that Xping has gone from mirroring Tesla to surpassing it in key areas. And, well, I tend to agree with this. Now, to give you some context on this, guys, I've done more videos on Tesla features, specifications. I've done more videos on Tesla than anyone else on YouTube in history, as in, in the history of the planet. I've done more of them. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm a bigger expert than anyone else, but it does mean I've got a pretty good amount of information in my brain um, on things that are in a Tesla. I've watched plenty of stuff from Sandy Monroe on tearing down Teslas, and I've, I also own an Xpeng, and I've had a lot of experience around Xpeng cars as well. I think I've done more videos on Xpeng than anyone else on YouTube as well. So I wouldn't say I'm an expert on both these cars, but I think I know enough to think that actually... Automotive news is correct. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And here's what Automotive News Europe is saying. Xpeng is mimicking Tesla's business model, but launching vehicles faster to survive in the fierce Chinese market. That's obviously a fact. Xpeng has a lot more models than Tesla. It's now bringing out e-revs of those same models. Yeah, it certainly is. It's um, working a lot harder and faster on getting new models out to market. The strategy has helped Xpeng become the sixth largest EV seller globally and secure a tech partnership with the Volkswagen Group. While Xpeng matches Tesla on tech and robotics, it still lags the US automaker in profitability. Both companies face pressure to deliver on robo-taxi promises to justify their AI-heavy investments. Well, that's all true. And it's also true that Xpeng... Um, have massively reduced their losses this year. They're nowhere near being in a situation like Neo, where they're burning through billions of dollars a year. And in fact, it looks like they've got a good chance of hitting profitability in the fourth quarter of this year. Xpeng has closely tech tracked Tesla since the Chinese battery electric vehicle maker was founded in 2014. But for one important difference, competition in Xpeng's home market has forced the Guangzhou based automaker to launch vehicles much faster than its benchmark with four new models planned for next year. Xpeng's following of Tesla's playbook can be seen in everything from gigacasting, structural battery packs, slippery styling and almost identical dimensions of the Xpeng G6 compared to the Tesla Model Y, robotaxis, development of humanoid robots, Develop, development of vision only full self-driving technology. Very similar. And I think this is something that we should not criticize. We should say, hey, actually, that's really smart. And it's not just XPeng doing, doing this sort of thing, right? Copying and then making it better. I mean, when I say copying and making it better, XPeng invent, I mean, Tesla invented this whole idea of gigacasting which was genius. Even Toyota themselves said, well, actually, we're doing it all wrong. We should be doing it like Tesla. We should be building our cars like Tesla is. Xpeng already knew that years before Toyota even tore apart a Tesla. So it actually makes sense to see what your competition is doing and see if you can either do something similar or even do something even better. Xpeng's spread of business is the closest to Tesla's at this stage. Jeffrey's automotive analyst, Philip Houchoua, wrote in a note to investors after a trip, to the Guangzhou Auto Show in November. Tesla's influence on China's automakers was particularly pronounced during the COVID-19 pandemic, said Sachin Tikirka, president and co-founder of software specialist KPIT. China's automotive ecosystem learned a lot from Tesla during those years, he told Automotive News Europe, adding that several Chinese automakers have been able to match or surpass the EV pioneer. Tesla's business model to offer connected EVs with a goal of selling software at a higher margin inspired numerous Chinese EV makers and many, including Xpeng, have prospered as a result. Xpeng's global EV sales increased by 190% this year. That's the fastest growth of any automaker in the world this year to a total of 355,209 in the first 10 months, said the company. The automaker sold 14,800 EVs in Europe during that period, according to figures from market researcher Danaforce. In the third quarter, Xpeng passed Volkswagen to become the sixth largest seller of EVs globally, 
with a 3.1% market share, according to figures from tech-focused market intelligence consultant Trendforce. Tesla was number two behind BYD, which had a 13.4% market share. Xpeng, however, remains unprofitable, though not by much. The company reported a net loss of only $54 million in the third quarter, which was an improvement, a pretty damn big improvement, on the loss it made during the same quarter the year before. To give you some context, it lost 380 million yuan in the third quarter of this year, but it lost 1.81 billion yuan in the third quarter of last year. 54 million is a bill of money still, but it's um, the kind of amount where only a small change in profitability per car or the number of cars they sell could push them into the black. Xpeng's finances have been bolstered by payments from Volkswagen parent group, Volkswagen Group, which has partnered with the Chinese company to gain access to its Edward vehicle platform, as well as its electronic architecture. The deal will extend to include access to Xpeng's Turing chips and VLA 2.0 end-to-end AI self-driving software. In other words, Volkswagen, in a sense, is buying the entire software architecture and the hardware in an Xpeng vehicle. Unlike Xpeng, Tesla so far has not been able to sell this technology to any other car companies. I'm not sure why that is, but this is what Elon Musk said. I tried to offer to license Tesla for self-driving, but they don't want it. Crazy. So that's what Elon Musk said on his social media platform on X only a couple of weeks ago. When Legacy Auto does occasionally reach out, they tepidly discuss implementing full self-driving for a tiny program in five years with unworkable requirements for Tesla. So pointless. For its own self-driving program, Xpeng has followed Tesla's approach to rely, to rely on an end-to-end -end AI model rather than a rules-based system with the backup of high-definition maps and LiDAR sensors. And recently, Xpeng completely moved away from what the industry is doing to doing the Tesla approach, which is vision only. Huishua describes the two companies as technology outliers for their lack of LiDAR sensors. Although that said, Volvo has just dumped LiDAR as well. Xpeng is convinced Tesla's lower cost and potentially more workable route is the right one. And even more so after the CEO recently tested Tesla's for self driving in California. In this trajectory, Tesla is the best one and all the rest are just followers said Shanming Lu, head of autonomous driving at Xpeng, to journalist at the Guangzhou Auto Show. Interesting to hear that from Xpeng. And I've got to say, I really respect the way Xpeng, um, their PR approach, it's, it's very different to companies, some other companies out there, you know who I'm talking about, who would prefer to just criticize. But Xpeng is interesting in the way that they say, well, Tesla's doing this really well. And we think that that's something we can do too. Lou was hired by Xpeng in 2024 from Cruise, General Motors' former self-driving division. He is tasked with rolling out Xpeng's promised robo-taxis next year, again closely tracking Tesla's bullish goals for its own robo-taxis, which are currently being tested in the United States. Xpeng is betting on its Turing chip, which is much faster in terms of processor speed than Tesla's, to deliver the compute power needed to run the company's AI self-driving VLA 2.0 vision, language, and action model, which it said will offer different stages of autonomy up to level four for self-driving starting next year, depending on the number of chips in the vehicle. All models on the company's new SEPA 3.0 electronics platform, starting with the X9 minivan already on sale, will come with advanced level two plus, hands-off, eyes on the road capability using the VLA 2.0 model. In a presentation to journalists, Xpeng said the X9 with its latest technology beat Tesla's full self-driving 13 in a 20 kilometer test during which the driver of the X9 had to take over just once for a lane change compared with seven times for the Tesla. Xpeng engineers will go to the United States to test the X9 against Tesla's upcoming full self-driving version 14, the company's head of powertrain, Jackie Gu, recently said. As with Tesla, Xpeng wants to merge its AI expertise from creating software cars with its humanoid robot business. 
and the company is aiming to begin mass production of its Iron Robot by the end of 2026. Xpeng co-founder and CEO He Xiaopeng said during the company's third quarter earnings call results on the 17th of November. Guys, I was at the presentation where they revealed uh, their new version of the Iron Robot, which is kind of a female looking robot. And I thought it was a person. And I was at that event live and I thought, you know what, that thing, there's a person. And I said it to someone next to me, I said, there's a person inside that robot. Um, and a lot of people online thought the same thing as me. Guess what? It wasn't a person. The robot stands out for its hand dexterity, said Jeffrey Hushua from consulting firm Alex Partners. Xpeng, however, is one of 150 companies developing robots in China. There's a lot of money going into this. This is leading to a warning on the 27th of November from the Chinese state that the sector is approaching an investment bubble. Of the four new XP models coming in 2026, two are for the company's lower cost Mona sub-brand, which has driven much of the company's sales growth this year, following the launch of the O3 sedan in late 2024. Tesla aims to boost sales by offering a lower cost version of its Model Y and a three row version, but it's really pivoting away from focusing on selling lots of vehicles. The push toward cheaper segments is expected to boost sales though for both Xpeng and Tesla, but put more pressure on their robo-taxi bets to offset the lower average selling price of their vehicles. So Xpeng in many ways has become very similar to Tesla. In some ways it's copied Tesla, but kind of copied them and then improved on Tesla's approach. And one of the ways I think it's fair to say Xpeng is quite different from Tesla is offering more models, more segments. How many people do you know have said, a, a Tesla van, why don't they make it? It'd be great. Heaps of people say this, right? What about people saying, oh, a large electric SUV, people want this. Tesla, why don't you make it? What about people saying an affordable, an affordable sedan, an affordable small car, why don't you make it? Xpeng does all those things. So in some ways, you've got to admit that Xpeng are doing some things better than Tesla. Some things, not so much, but some things clearly they are ahead on. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.